Media darling and America's top doctor, Anthony Fauci, is playing some serious defense after a trove of emails blew a huge hole in his already shrinking credibility. They reveal his relationship with the Wuhan lab that is facing new scrutiny in the global pandemic that has killed millions. Senator Rand Paul claims Fauci lied to America about that lab potentially doing research that could make viruses more deadly. Dr. Fauci still denies it to this day, but in his private emails, he puts in the subject line, urgent, we must discuss this gain of function research. So he knows it's gain of function and he needs to be pinned down on this. I don't think that uh, having trust of Chinese scientists with gain of function research was very wise. In fact, it was so naive that we shouldn't have Dr. Fauci in a position of advising the US, the world or anybody else because he's so shown such poor decision making. Okay, so here you have it again. First of all, Dagan McDowell, who I adore from Fox News, has been telling the truth most of her term with Fox. But the rest of the nitwits on this on this network, whether it's that stupid Kennedy broad with that smug look on her face when she went after Trump, that POS, okay, or the rodent, Chris Wallace. What a poster boy he could have been for the Nazi party. I mean, I never saw anyone look so much like a rodent, all right? And what he, he did to go after Trump, the little bastard. And the rest of these schmucks at Fox that have been leaning to the left, starting with that douchebag Megan Kelly or whatever her name was that's so far into oblivion, but she got her $25 million a year, all right? At least when I turn on MSNBC for a laugh, I know that Pee Wee Herman, a.k.a. Rachel Maddox, I know where she's coming from. They don't ambush our own like these, I was going to use the C word at Fox, right? It's unbelievable. But here you have Rand Paul doing the classic retard Republican mistake, calling Fauci dumb. Are you kidding me? Finocchio, is he dumb? Because if he's dumb, let me tell you, people, I don't want to tell you what you are out there in reality land. This guy made at least $100 million off of these vaccinations. Is that dumb? Is that dumb? You know what half of our politicians have made off of this disaster while they shut down small private businesses and told you to suck wind for $1,400 and $600 before that? In Europe, they paid people that they shut down 80 to 90 percent of their aggregate income. But here in the land of the free and the home of the stupid, here's your $1,400. Now go shut the blank up. And we have a senile degenerate for a president who's so ignorant that it belies even the worst imagination that we'd ever have a cretin like that representing this country at any level of government. I don't want to talk about Camel Toe Harris. That woman went to the University of Stupid, okay? I don't think she's got more than two convolutions in her brain. She's a walking retard. But the Republican Party wants to go after the smart boys, Clinton, Obama, right? The ones with a brain and keep calling them stupid instead of calling them what they are, traitor, evil bastards, okay? So all you people that have dead relatives <clears throat> and you've suffered through this pandemic, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Are you going to sit back forever, look at how they mobilize the media and their all operation against right-wingers because a bunch of morons walked up on the Congress steps and did a little damage, right? You would think it was the Russian Revolution on Bloody Sunday, or you would think it was the storming of the Tuileries when the French Republicans got fed up and got Louis and uh, Marie Antoinette, who never said, let them eat cake, by the way. That was communists that invented that. That's where communism started in Europe with the French Revolution. And what a precursor it was for the, for the 20th century, because Napoleon was the real first Adolf Hitler in Europe. 
If you don't believe me, read the words to the Marseillaise, the song of the French that's still their national anthem about the throat cutting and the butchery that they were going to perform. And as inane as the French are, they got more gonads than this country has because they let you listen to them whine and cry because a couple of those politicians, like hiding under his desk, Chucky Schumer, was afraid he would get his lights punched out by some angry people, right? And look at the FBI mobilizing to go after all the the people who belligerently went up the Capitol steps, right? Like they're overturning every rock and pebble, to find evidence. But 36 to 40 cities burned to the ground. And with all the scumbags, like the mayor of Minneapolis and Cuomo and all these limp-wristed governors, it was peaceful demonstrations. I don't know how the PBA and the the police establishment could stand by and listen to those whining Capitol Police like they were assaulted. How would you like to have been a cop in New York or Milwaukee? during the riots, or Minneapolis, or Seattle, or Portland. So, we're at war. And this little guinea midget Faust, Fauci, Finocchio, I've said it from day one, this little rat has been lying. And now we have the evidence. But nothing will happen, just like Hillary's emails, just like Joe Biden on videotape. I'm not giving the president of Ukraine a billion dollars. Right? And his kid, Hunter, is still on the board with Burisma in the Ukraine. He's still on the board with these chai com chink gook bastards. And not a word. No FBI looking there. They had a Mount Everest of evidence against the Clintons. Nothing. But God, didn't they go over every hill and dale trying to find something on Trump? Because, you know, Trump was bad. Him and Giuliani actually said to the new president of Ukraine, who was worried about American corruption influence, influencing Ukrainian politics, he was upset that maybe, if there's any evidence, could you tell me Trump? And Trump says... If you find out anything, you let us know. Which, of course, would have embarrassed the Biden campaign. So, ergo, we mobilized the whole police constabulary in Washington, D.C. to go after Trump. And Trump is naive or dumb in his own right. And I would tell him this if I met him. Here's where you effed up, Donald. The second day of the burning of the cities, you should have mobilized the National Guard. Declared martial law. And without right of redress, arrested anybody, politician or not, who demonstrably protested against your action. Because your instincts were all right, but you were a little soft and carried it out. Because you, like most Republicans, want to be liked by the left. Psst, here's a clue. They will hate you until eternity. They'll hate Nixon. They still hate Reagan. And, And maybe they'll like him for a few minutes after he's dead, but they hate him. They call good evil, and evil is good. That's why they're libtards. Remember, people, you cannot spell a liberal without a L-I-A-R. Those letters are not in the word conservative. They are gangsters at their heart. They are non-productive scumbags, and they call the workers in this country, the people who work in the private sector, non-essentials. So here's what you do. On tax day, right back on your return I pay you nothing because I'm a non-essential. Okay? See how quick. You don't even need your money. All the money they collect, they print in an hour. In one hour, they print more money in one hour than they collect from people's income taxes in this country. I'm talking about working people. It's a joke. That's about control. Look at this douchebag with his mask on. That's about controlling you. When he gets off TV camera, he takes that mask, and I'll tell you where he puts it. And he's laughing. So, wake up. It's time we storm the Twilleries in America. Rise up. Pack a weapon and let's get going, because it's only going to fix this country. We've got moments to live left, and then this republic is finished.